Hey everyone, not content with the damage it's already done to the Exxon Mobil share price, the Caribbean has another three storms moving in. The latest one, Hurricane Irma, has pretty much wiped out Barbuda and Hurricanes Josie and Katia are already forming out at sea. I suppose hurricanes must come in threes or fours like buses, although if I was a cyclist I'd frankly rather take my chances with a hurricane than a bendy bus. The names of these storms, by the way, are pre-assigned and they go up alphabetically. Earlier in July, for instance, we already had Tropical Storm Don, which most people didn't hear about, what with the fact that there's another Don hogging the headlines in Washington. If we get as far as V though, then we're apparently scheduled to get Hurricane Vince, which was what I thought the Lib Dem leader called himself down the snooker hall when he met up for Nick Clegg for a drink. Unfortunately for the Labour Party though, there's no Hurricane Theresa, or Hurricane Jacob Rees-Mogg, so Jeremy Corbyn's going to have to rely on rhetoric, policy debate, persuasion and rational argument to attack the government. Unfortunately for the Labour Party members though, Jeremy instead decided to spend this past weekend thinking about whether or not to go vegan. I always think, show me a bloke who's a vegan and I'll show you a bloke wanting to sleep with a vegan, but maybe I'm being overly cynical and pui lentils are indeed what it takes to give him some kind of inspiration about a coherent Brexit strategy. Perhaps he'll try acupuncture next and get the idea for a needle exchange to help out heroin addicts. Anyway, for those living in Florida, stay safe and otherwise see you next week, y'all. Bye.